Hello everyone, this is Harlow58 signing. I want to do a quick, uh, I guess you could say, unboxing and video demonstration here at the Galaxy S4. Uh, my wife's Galaxy S4, and I'm going to be installing a Qi wireless charging receiver. Okay, got this from um, wireless. I'm sorry, I got this from PhoneSalesman.com, I believe. I'll post the link in the description below. Um, wasn't expensive I think this one cost me I think maybe twenty dollars I believe I'm not hundred percent sure actually so I bought two different ones this is the first version that I bought and it works fine with the Galaxy S4 however it's a bit thicker this is I just pulled these off this is a uh, two one for my S4 and one for my wife's and they work fine no problem at all I will uh, post a link in the description for these if you guys are interested I bought these from uh, fasttech.com I believe again I'll post that link in the description these were cheaper than these I believe I paid like twelve dollars for this and got here relatively fast uh, like I said great they worked fine um, just in case you guys don't believe me I'll go ahead and show you that these work uh, you just place it back with this for like so uh, Sorry about that, then you just take the cover and you pop it on. So like I said, this one is a bit thicker than the uh, than the other, so it's going to leave a slight hump on the side of your phone. Not huge, um, but you will be able to notice. Okay, have over here my uh, Nexus 4 wireless charging dock. And you guys see, you can now place the device within range, now charging. So it's now charging. So like I said, that one works fine. No problems with it whatsoever. I would definitely recommend that to any and everybody that is interested. Um, it does fit with cases, if you're wondering. Uh, it's a tighter fit with certain cases, because most cases, that I, at least that I have for this, for form-fitting. So it's a tighter fit, but it works fine, like I said. Um, but the tight fit is why I went... And reach it out to get this one. So this one, I'm gonna open it up for you guys now. Is uh, oh, and if you guys were wondering, yes, NFC works fine with this. No problems with NFC. So this one, it's a lot thinner. Here it goes. So this is the uh, cheap pad that I got from PhoneSalesman.com. I apologize for the blurriness, but yeah, phone salesman.com. Yeah, uh, sure. You guys can go ahead and use that if you want to and get 5% off. I don't care. I probably I uh, don't think that I'll be using it, but if you guys want to, go ahead and use that. Um, and then here, like I said, is the thinness for this one in comparison to this one. So I want to say that this is probably two to three times thicker than this. It's very thin. Okay. Um, so I have this currently installed on my Galaxy S4 and it works fine. However, I did note I saw another YouTube user. This um, is covered with aluminum foil. Okay, and unfortunately, anybody who's into tech uh, knows that that's going to block out NFC. Okay, so this does have to get removed from the outside, which kind of sucks because it looks really nice, but uh. You know, it's better to have something that works that looks a little uglier than something that looks nice and doesn't work. And I did try this already. I tried it on my S4 with the aluminum foil on, and NFC is indeed blocked, so it doesn't work. So, sorry. It's going to look a little tad uglier than uh, I would like, but whatever. It's going to be behind the back cover of the phone. No one's ever going to see it anyway, so it's not a big problem for me at least. Um, maybe some of you guys may want to wait until they come out with a better solution where it'll be able to look aesthetically pleasing and you won't have to put, you know, it'll look aesthetically pleasing and uh, it'll work fine. Sorry, I'm getting tongue tied trying to remove this as well. Okay. Uh, trying to do this on camera, which kind of sucks.
Okay. Um, maybe. Okay, there we go. Okay, so getting the corner off, as you guys can see, taking more time than I'd like. Sorry guys, I would uh, pause the video, but I don't feel like going back and editing and putting videos together. So here, I've get, got the corner off as well. Okay. Cool. Alright. So aluminum piece is removed. So this is going to be the charging part this is the part that actually is going to touch here on the galaxy s4 okay and uh, it's sticky which is <laughs> kind of good because you just move the aluminum backing and you want it to stick so go ahead and... sorry just go ahead and do this off a little bit off camera okay so got it on there and the contacts touching and then you go ahead and lay it down on the battery so that it's sticking firmly on the battery. Cool. All right. Then you want to go ahead and put the okay, the backing on to the phone. Okay, and it's on there. Um, you guys really couldn't note the hump that was the slight hump that was formed before. It was very slight, like I said, with the other wireless sheep pad, but there's absolutely no hump whatsoever. All right. So, go ahead and get my Nexus 4, sit on top, and you see, it works fine. Um, I Like I said, I have this on my uh, Galaxy S4, and it works great. And so now I'm just, I wanted to show you guys that it does indeed work great in the whole process of doing it. So, if you want wireless charging on your Galaxy S4, but there are a couple of ways that you can do it that are very inexpensive in comparison to Samsung's way where you can pay almost more like $100 for a dock and a pad. And I don't know if you guys have seen it or not, but the the back that you have to buy adds considerable bulk. It's, I want to say it's more bulky than this. And then it, you have to add a whole nother back. You know, and this way you just pop this on, tape it in if you, well this comes with adhesive. Um, you guys didn't see because I pulled it off, but this does have adhesive on the inside, so it sticks. Um, and this one that I currently installed, you guys saw it had adhesive. And if not, you can tape it on there. It's going to be in the inside of your phone anyway, so it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to look good. And the solution costed twelve dollars for this one. I think twenty dollars for the other one. And you get yourself a dock for thirty dollars, and that's fifty bucks to get wireless charging on your phone. Or you can go Samsung's route and pay hundred dollars, which to me doesn't really make sense. However, if you do want that OEM integration, then fine, that's you. That's fine. Like I said, this does work and it works with plenty of cases. I will be uploading some um, some more case reviews that I do have for the GS4. Um, I haven't had a chance to do them recently. My apologies. I haven't had a chance to do them recently, um, but I will try to get one done soon. Let's see. Okay, yeah, it works. Uh, don't pay too close attention to this. Don't think that, oh, you have to put it in a certain position because it really does work seamlessly. I'm trying to do this behind camera, but I would say 95% of the time that I put it down, it works fine. Okay, so this is Alice58 signing off. If you guys have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Thank you.